Steve can't stop taking pictures. It's so pretty. <laughs> we are Steve and Adria, and Alexi is our Doberman pup. In 2019, we started slowly converting our DIY camper van on the weekends at our home base in Las Vegas. But the pandemic quickly changed our plans with Steve getting laid off. The silver lining? More time for the van build, location freedom to start van life even before our van was finished, and teaming up with a metal worker buddy in Oregon to design a roof rack for our ProMaster and start a business crafting adventure van accessories. And that's where our story picks up. So we are quite a bit ahead in recording video. So today is the day. Today is the day that we are on that computer back there. We're about to push publish on our first vlog. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> we're like hovering, we're like, eh, press it, no, maybe, ah. Ah, it's done. Are you cuddling Lexi because we just hit publish and you need a little bit of puppy yeah, time? I need some love, some reassurance <laughs> that all is well in the world. <laughs> Lexi prancing through the field, <laughs> so hilarious. I don't know what she's bounding for, but it's great. <laughs> we plan to be on the highway already testing out this rack right here in the background. But we got a little carried away posting our first YouTube video. And it took a lot longer than we expected. But we're hitting the highway now, heading towards the Oregon coast. And let's see what we find. typical fashion. We drove to the coast, as we mentioned, and it was way too uh, crowded Crowded for us. <laughs> <laughs> and we got uh, really stressed out and found this beautiful park randomly and I... decided to park in this little parking lot and just kind of relax and now I think we're gonna go for a walk. <laughs> and I, I honestly think this is becoming a theme for us yeah. that like <laughs> I feel like Every video, you'll probably see something where we're like, it was too crowded and we felt introverted. And so we went and like, yeah, this is so much more recharging for us. Yeah, and I think <laughs> Lexi needed a little walk as well. The whole hour ride in the van was apparently yeah, a little- Too much. Too much for her today. <laughs> and the soft forest floor. This feels good. And also that we're not in 110 degrees in Vegas right now and we happen to be here on the coast and it's like 60, 60 like plus in my book. Ugh. So <laughs> one first thing of van life is when there's no trash can we're packing out Lexi's poop. You think maybe we can just put it in our what compost toilet? What do you do toilet? with it? Yeah, like what do people do? <laughs> I have pe Do people put it in their compost toilet? You want to pack it out, especially when there's like... I don't want it in the van either. <laughs> the first road test of the rack up there went really well. Um, I was a bit paranoid at like any noise that I heard in the van. Like, oh, was that whistle there before? Was that wind noise there before? But it's a giant brick flying down the highway, so I'm pretty sure I had a little bit of noise before and I just got really paranoid, but no whistles, no weird noises. Went down the highway fine. I think we're good to go. I wish 
we could figure out how to get down there from here. I'm sure there's spots, but the beach down that way right in front of us looks super empty. And Lexi loves running in the sand. She would have a yeah, blast. Yeah, she would be so happy. Well, that was much easier than we thought. Uh, basically, right around the corner was a nice little access point to this beach that is just <laughs> basically empty. I think we're gonna find a little bit farther up spot and let Lexi run around a little off leash on the sand. It's her favorite thing. So it was a sunny day out and I was maybe hoping to be at the beach when it was sunny, but honestly, this is exactly what I pictured for the Oregon coastline. I'm still happy with it. It's still pretty. Does it look cute and happy again? It's so cool. It's not raining out. Like this is coming out of the rock. It's like seeping out of the rock. It's like mini waterfalls, really. It's so beautiful. Steve can't stop taking pictures. It's so pretty. <laughs> here a little too late in all of the beautiful camping spots um, are taken, hey? Yeah. A bummer. This is a really cool road. A little nerve-wracking though, driving uh, on like the edge of the mountain it seems like though with the van. <laughs> that's definitely testing its limits. So really that's our fault for coming here so late. We got so excited and enjoyed the ocean so much and our little private beachy area we found that we lost a little track of time and now it's 8 p.m. and we haven't eaten. We haven't eaten. <laughs> this is the first time we've done, like we've had this search. Like usually we're so good about finding a spot and bedding down and like, you know, getting to have our first pick. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, have to figure this one out. So we only drove an extra few minutes and then... It wasn't even that, it was literally as you got off the video. <laughs> it was literally when I <laughs> ended that last, uh, got off with you guys last, that we literally came upon a spot and it may be like a little bit sec secluded and not a hilltop mountain view, but... The mountain view, do you see where yeah, the, light see where the is light's back coming there? in? It's literally It's up there. Twenty feet from us yeah. and we can walk out there and see probably and it's a like, really beautiful sunset. Yeah, I think there's gonna be a beautiful sunset and also it's like eight twenty, eight thirty, so and we're hungry. We're ready for dinner. <laughs> and we need a beer. And we need I and need we need some craft beer. Yes, craft beer for sure. <laughs> but I feel like our, our parking karma remains intact. So this is why we wanted to have one of those spots that was a little more open. That, you can't really see my finger in there. The little light blue spot right there is the water. It's really beautiful. I hope you can kind of see this on camera because it's pretty spectacular. Construction comes with a lot Watching of a little Trentinale <laughs> and eating our dinner on our nice primitive setup. <laughs> It works though. So. I don't know if we've shown you around much in here. We don't really have a whole lot. There's a bed there. And some chairs. Our, our living room? Yeah. <laughs> it's prettier in daylight, I think, even. And yeah, definitely prettier in daylight. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Did you guys sleep well? Eh, a little chilly. It's really hard to get out of bed in the morning when it's cold. <laughs> 
Well, Lexi didn't have any problems getting up into our bed this morning. Did you, puppy? Well, that's a really high jump. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, 36, well, no, it's like 32 plus whatever the mattress. It's probably 40 inches up. Nice jump, pups. A superstar. So usually I wash my hair every other day, and I have kind of oily hair. Um... But we are going <laughs> two days past my usual hair wash date now, being in the van without running water, without like our shower yet. And so I'm in a debate, maybe you can help. Is it better for me to just, you know, try to part my hair like this and like just roll with it, show my hair, or is this hat better? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious, Steve has some opinions. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to know what you think too. Morning Lexi, what do you smell? So Steve is off using the facilities in the woods and digging a hole. And I'm going to use this time to enjoy this patch of sun and journal. This is kind of a daily ritual when I can, and it feels so nice. Take the view. We're on our way heading back to McMinnville, but we're taking the long road. <laughs> we uh, did our test drive of the roof rack yesterday on fast speed highway, and now, it was good. and it was good, <laughs> but now we are leisurely seeing what we see on the way there, having adventures, seeing what sites we might see. Find... We're heading north along the coastline right now, just trying to see if we find any little cute towns or something to drive through, maybe a place to pick up a cup of coffee and support some local businesses. just got back into McMinnville. The road test of the rack went really well. Everything seems super solid. So uh, that's where we're gonna leave you with this episode. And we've got more coming. <laughs> because this is not over yet. <laughs> yeah, we go. We're putting the final little touches on the rack. Uh, hopefully next time you might see it painted even. I don't know. It might be finished and completely up there permanently. I hope. I'm really excited. Like, yeah, that would be so <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so if you like this uh, video and you want to continue this journey with us, please uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And uh, if maybe hit the notification bell so that you actually get notified when our next video comes out. There's Steve. <laughs> Sorry. This is good lighting. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> I told Steve, I said, I gotta get on the camera because I have really good lighting right now. 